present days. The following that are, that are attributable to the Deputy Party Leader, Honorable William Ruto, that has been an exhibition of arrogance, insolence, and disrespect of President Uhuru Kenyatta, who is also the party leader of Jubilee. Just to give you a few examples in the last few days and weeks, we have witnessed the unprovoked and inexplicable abuse of former First Lady Mamangina Kenyatta by political allies of the deputy party leader and the subsequent response by Honorable Ruto that exhibited not an ounce of contrition. Some of the abuses have been expressed in the most primitive and vulgar vernacular. Last week, the party had made a decision not to field a candidate in the forthcoming Musambweni parliamentary by-election. Shortly after that announcement, the party leader, the deputy party leader, actually came into the party headquarters with an aspirant on tow. He went ahead to express his dissenting view on this matter, but committed to respect the party position. It was a surprise to see the deputy party leader emerge the following day unveiling and declaring his support for an independent candidate in contravention of the party position that he committed himself to respect just the previous day in this spot where I'm talking right now. Another example. Kenyans were amazed by the obvious absence of the deputy president at the KICC during the COVID-19 conference with his seat remaining conspicuously empty throughout the event where he was included in the program to make remarks and according to state protocol, then invite the president to address the conference. For such travesty, the only thing we have received from the DP's camp are tweets from his allies rubbing more salt into the injury. In many days, weeks, and months, we have seen the deputy president run around the country in the so-called hustler political rallies in churches, markets, and roadsides. Up to now, the vast majority of those who serve this party and this president have heeded the call by the president that we should not put the country in a campaign mode so early so that the country may concentrate in the very important human development agenda of this administration. This restraint is out of respect for the president and not because of a lack of leaders with ambition and capacity to hit the road and start campaigning. We have witnessed with sadness the very rude and unmitigated defiance in the face of this fervent wish and vision of our president by his constitutional principal assistant, the, the deputy president, Honorable William Ruto. Yesterday, the DP turned up at the party headquarters with more than 30 members of parliament, many of them known avowed abusers of the president. These are some of the foul-mouthed MPs that are on record attacking government programs like the Huduma number. It is disturbing that the deputy president invite the same retinue to the party headquarters to give them a platform to increase polarization in the party. Indeed, that move of inviting those MPs allied to him almost created an ugly confrontation with close to 40 members of parliament not, allow, not allied to him congregating at the Serena Hotel 
and demanding to come to the headquarters. It took skillful persuasion to prevail on the other group not to descend on the party headquarters for confrontation that may have turned very ugly. While we recognize that it is important that we exercise wisdom and patience at the party headquarters, which you know have done, I've never spoken like this before. We have been forced by this, among other events, to make a painful choice between supporting our president or supporting the deputy president. We wish we did not have to make this choice. But given the discordance that the DP has brought into the party, we would like to be absolutely clear and make the following announcement following our consultations at the NMC. We serve one president at a time. The party headquarters is not going to be allowed to become the theater of conflict and confrontation by different factions that emerge in the party. Two, the party leaders, the deputy party leader, as a self-declared presidential candidate of 2022, will not be allowed to use the party headquarters as a center of, oper of operationalization of his 2022 campaign and to use the center for intimidation of potential opponents or intimidation of the staff. It is no longer tenable for the deputy president to use the party platform, including statements from the party headquarters, to advance his divisive so-called hustler politics that are counter to the party and the president's platform of uniting the country, fighting against cor corruption, and the agenda for items. He will no longer be allowed to use the party headquarters to make such statements that are principally for his breakaway faction of the party. It is noteworthy that the party constitution has not given the deputy president or the deputy party leader any specific role of organizing party grassroots elections in collaboration with the MPs he has selected and senators as emerged from the, from the press conference yesterday addressed by MPs and senators allied to him. The NMC has recommended to the NEC that the DP ceases to be deputy party leader after he opened the so-called Jubilee Asili offices that is reserved for him and his allies until such a time that this development of Jubilee Asili will be discussed at the NEC. And finally, we are committed to uniting this country even as we seek to build and strengthen this party. And as we have said before, this country is more important than even this party. We pledge our support and loyalty to President Uhuru Kenyatta until the end of his term. And we will not countenance any attempted power grab as was witnessed yesterday. I'm going to take a couple of questions. That's the end of the statement. Yes, boss. Yes, my name is Mangan Diroge from Radio Citizen. In a manisha, I was a CEO of Manachama, who I believe I'm a Kama, Mama Tibia Chama, Mama Manisha. Yeye ni mwanachama wa Jubilee. Lakini tumetoa pendekezo kwa NEC 
kwamba kuendelea kwake kama naibu wa kiongozi wa chama na ingawa baada anaendelea kufanya yale ambaye ni kinyume ya yale ambaye kiongozi ya chama amesema basi hiyo haiwezi kuendelea vile imekuwa ikiendelea hapa wale The very latest there from the Jubilee Party Secretary General Rafael Tuju, the main thing being the NMC recommending to the NEC that the Deputy President Dr. William Ruto ceases to be Deputy Party Leader. This is after he opened Jubilee Asili. The DP has also been banned from accessing the Jubilee Party headquarters to use it as a party platform to advance his hustle.